Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In our last video we showed you how to show and hide a little section there on a button click. We're going to use the same code or same principle today to create a mega menu. Of course being a menu item this will appear on every page. Got a little button at the top there when I click on it. It's going to drop down a mega menu right here. We've got to do a bit of coding for this today, so don't let that put you off. Same as the other one, I'll make a little PDF of the code for you. And at the end, I'll show you how you can actually download this whole layout if you want to, and that'll include the code. So let's get started. I'm going to create a custom header to do this today. So let's go down to our dashboard, down to Divi and Theme Builder. I've actually got mine open here. Here's the global header I created to do this. I'm going to trash that and we'll start from scratch. OK, well, let's add a new global header, build from scratch. OK, and I'm going to keep my header very, very simple. If you want to do more complex, have a look at some of our other videos here. I'm going to create a, a row. I'm going to have a little section on the right hand side for my button and the rest of it I'll use for the actual menu itself. So let's use that one right there. I'm going to use a menu module. Divi comes as standard with all these light grain modules right here. Plenty enough to build just about any site. Here's a menu module. Select whatever menu you want there, obviously. That's the correct one for me. Oh, actually, it's not. Let's go to select the menu. That's the one I want, which is actually my top custom. Great. I'll pop my little logo in there. Fine, a little large, but that's okay. Elements, you can choose whether to have a shopping cart icon there if you've got WooCommerce installed, and also magnifying glass search icon there. Okay, let's go to my design here. Layout's pretty much as I want it. Menu text, I'm gonna pop that in the middle. And I'm not gonna change the style or anything like that. Let's go down to our sizing here. I got my logo width. I'm going to make it a bit smaller than that. Something like 30%. That's going to work for me. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to leave that bit just like that. Great. And it's going to be a bit too wide for us. So let's take any padding away from our actual section, the blue tag there. Go into design and then spacing. I'm simply going to put a zero in there. No need to put picks in, it'll do it for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the bottom also. That's not too bad. Let's just save that. Probably shave a bit off the row as well. Green tab for the row, same thing. Spacing. Let's try 15 picks. Yeah, I think that's going to work for me. Great. It's about the size that I want it. We can always adjust it later. And in my other column over here, I just want to put a simple button. So I'm going to use a button module. Call yours what you want, obviously. I'll just call mine Mega. I'm not going to put a link in there just yet. Design-wise, I want it to be in the middle of our column that it's in. And let's just make it slightly more interesting. Text color, I'm going to make white, it'll disappear on the background there. Background color, let's make it purple. There it is. And we'll give it a hover color. Common to all Divi modules, when you're in there, if you hover over the dark text, you'll see some little icons appear to the right. If there's a little arrow there, we can set a hover state. Desktop states, when your mouse is not on it, we'll leave it purple. When they put the mouse on it, let's turn it blue. Great. I just want to pull it down a little bit. So to do that, we'll use spacing. And we'll use margin. If I was to use padding to try and push it down, it would actually make the button fatter. For instance, if I put 20 picks padding there, you see it adds it to the top there. It's not what we want. Let's try 20 picks top margin. Maybe a little too much. Let's change that to 15. Great. Well, we'll call that our nav bar up there. We'll leave that just as it is. Now let's create the section that we're going to use 
for our mega menu. So let's create a new section here. Make it a regular section. Inside you can do absolutely anything you want to do. Now I'm just going to load the one that I had rather than sit here and build a mega menu. That's entirely up to you how you build your menu, mega menu. But you can use any modules and links that you want in it. So what I'm going to do is simply just load the one that I had in my library. Okay, so here we are. I've added back the section that I had there with my Mega Menu in it. And like I say, you can build yours however you want. I've got some blurb modules here. And like I say, I'll save this as a JSON and show you how you can download it at the end of the video here for anybody that wants to do that. Okay, now the important part is you can't really see it here, but I've got a code module right here. If I move to wireframe mode in the back, here's the actual modules that I've got here. There's that little button. I've got a code module on the left hand side. Now you're going to need to add a code module to whatever you've built for your mega menu. So let's just delete that and I'll pretend that it's not there. And we'll go back to desktop view. And here's my mega menu again. Let's add a code module. It doesn't really matter where you put it, you're not going to see it because it's just code. I'm going to add it just to the left of my button right here. There's the code module. I've got some code over here that I've got to put inside of it. And we've got some CSS styles up here, closed and opened. And these are our CSS classes here that we'll be using in a minute. And then we've got a CSS ID down here of show, which we're going to tell it to show and hide from the above. So just need to copy from the script tag there all the way to the top control C to copy control V to paste that in there and that's all you do and like I say this PDF of this code will be down below you can pull it up on the screen and copy it and like I say at the end I'll download this whole global menu as a JSON file and I'll zip it up great so we've got that in there now remember we talked about some class names here so the section we want to give an CSS ID of show that it says in the code here and the button to make it pop up the section we want to give a CSS ID of mega closed so let's copy that one we'll save that I'm going to go into our button up here over to the advanced to CSS IDs and classes I've already got mine in there for this one. But in the CSS class, make sure you put it in the class, not the ID for the button here. We want what we just copied there, which is mega closed. So now we need to tell the button that this section is called show. So we need to use a CSS ID on the section. And it's a blue tab for the section up here, green tab for a row, dark section for a module. So we'll go into the section, which is the whole of our mega menu. Go to Advanced, CSS IDs and Classes. That won't be there unless you've downloaded this layout. And so we need to give this a CSS ID. Make sure you put it in the ID and not the class for this one of Show. Once we've done that, we should be good to go. We can save our changes here. X out. Make sure everything's saved up here. And let's open a new instance of the site. And there it is, there's our little menu. If I hit the mega menu button up here, there's our little mega menu dropping down down there. Really nice little effect to have on your site. Really easy to do. What I'll do is I'll save this as a layout you can download it and upload it to yours if you want to. So if I go back to my theme builder, let's export this. It'll be this global header here. And let's call it mega menu. And what I'll do is I'll put it into a zip file, I'll upload it and I'll put a download 
load link below the video here. You can download it, unzip it. Once you've got it unzipped, it'll be a JSON file like that. Just come to your theme builder up here. Two little arrows in the purple up here. Portability. Hit import. And you can simply drag it up here or browse to it. I'm not going to drag mine up because I've already got it in here, obviously. Once in there, just hit the import Divi theme builder template. Okay, guys, well, there you go. That's how to create a little mega menu without using a plugin. Got to use a bit of code, but it's just copy and paste. Really easy to do. And as it's in a global header here, of course, it's going to appear on all of your pages. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Have a great day.